Hi, welcome to this demo of IBM Spectrum Protect and Spectrum Protect Plus's Open Snap Store Manager, also known as Awesome. Awesome allows you to take the Spectrum Protect Plus backups and store them in the Spectrum Protect's container storage pools. This gives those backups the ability to share the storage as well as the deduplication that is built into the Spectrum Protect container storage pools. In this series of videos, James Damgar will be walking you through installing the OSSM package, configuring and backing up virtual machines from Spectrum Protect Plus into Spectrum Protect using Awesome, and then doing a restore from that common data repository as well as a replication of that backed up data to an additional Spectrum Protect server. This second video will cover the creation of the SLAs and actually backing up those virtual machines from Spectrum Protect Plus to the awesome repository. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to James. Hello everyone, my name is James Damgar and today I will be taking you through the steps of protecting virtual machines with the OpenSnap Store Manager with IBM Spectrum Protect and Spectrum Protect Plus. So now with the proxy software deployed, we can now start protecting virtual machines. So the first thing you'll want to do is create a new SLA that's related to the site that you deploy the OSSM storage and proxy to. So we'll go to Manage Protection Policy Overview and we'll click Add SLA Policy. We want to make sure this is an OSSM type policy for protecting VMware virtual machine data to OSSM and replicating between two Spectrum Protect servers. So we'll hit Next. We'll give the SLA policy a name. We'll disable schedules for now, leave replication disabled, and we'll want to select the target site of the site that we deployed our resources to, test site, hit next and submit. Now that the policy has been created with a default 15 day retention, we'll want to go to manage protection, virtualized systems, VMware, and select a set of virtual machines to assign to the SLA. So I will pick a set of VMs. And virtual machines can actually be assigned to multiple SLAs at the same time. Any combination of multiple OSSM SLAs as well as a mix of OSSM and vSNAP SLAs is perfectly fine. So in this case, I'll select two of my OSSM SLAs and hit save. And one thing Spectre Protect Plus does is the first time you assign a virtual machine to an SLA, It'll automatically create a schedule for you under the Jobs and Operations panel. So we can navigate over there to Schedule. And we see that now we now have a VMware underscore test VM policy schedule that we can run. So at this point, I should be able to start a backup. So I will start this schedule in an ad hoc fashion. It'll now appear under the running jobs panel and from here I can monitor it while it runs so we'll let this run in the background and in this case it'll be backing up five virtual machines in parallel through the proxy I deployed and over to the Spectrum Protect server so from this page you'll be able to monitor what the job is doing over time and you can actually go over to this progress tab as well and once data starts moving you'll be able to see progress for each of the virtual machines individually here we have the backups running and we can monitor the throughput as well as we'll get a progress bar as these continue to run over time from the operation center of the spectrum protect server we can see what kind of resources are related to ossm under the policies page we see that we have a policy domain so this is a policy domain that was created by spectrum protect plus when it registered with ossm and this spectrum protect server and we see that the backup destination is our chosen ddupe pool we go over to the clients page we can see that it created a node for this spectrum protect plus instance that's prefixed with OSSM and that's related to that domain. 
And here we can actually see the virtual machines that this node is backing up. They're each created as separate file spaces underneath the node. So as these backups complete, we'll see these file spaces get populated. We go over to properties, we can see that it's associated with the OSSM policy domain, and it's not possible to change this after the fact. It is controlled by Spectrum Protect Plus. We take a look at the backup job that we started earlier that is still running for the new VM, and we can see that it's making progress. Okay, and I thank you very much for watching this video and going on this OSSM journey with me, and I invite you to check out the other awesome Spectrum Protect and Spectrum Protect Plus related videos that we have out there on YouTube. Have a good day.